Christmas is now over. Right now we are drawing closer to a new year. But the season isn't quite over yet. So after a year of this crap... We know everything. Thanks. And you know nothing. Jenny, you're not a woman anymore. Because she'd have understood. I think it's fair to end on something of a more inspiring, heartfelt nature, and that is the 1940 classic Remember the Night. It tells the story of lawyer John Sargent, played by Fred McMurray, who is the prosecutor shoplifter called Lee Leander, played by the lovely Barbara Stanwyck. Sargent, hesitant about having her spend Christmas in prison, lets her idiot lawyer accidentally delay the trial. Unfortunately, John Sargent is the only guy available to take care of Leander since she has nowhere to go and he's supposed to be visiting his family for Christmas. So despite his reluctance, he decides to drop her off to her mother's, which sadly goes about as well as the next Disney remake announcement. So not wanting her to spend Christmas alone, he takes her to meet his family and the more they spend time together, the more they start to develop feelings for each other. But will that convince Sargent to compromise his morals and career for the woman he loves, or will he stick to his principles and lose his chance of a relationship with a woman he is to prosecute? Remember the Night is one of those films that really tugs the heartstrings without coming across as over-sentimental, with smart writing that really plays to the strength of both our leads. Fred McMurray plays the morally upstanding no-nonsense John Sargent with enough compassion and charm to avoid turning him into a stuck-up boy scout, and even though he's reluctant to be stuck with her, there never seems to be any real animosity between them both. He's empathetic enough to recognise how and why Leander is in the situation she's in, but still doesn't excuse her actions, and is still willing to do his job, which he tells his mother here in this scene. Well, I think she's charming. That I thought that yes, she is charming, Mother, but unfortunately she's a crook. When I get back to New York, I'm going to try to put her in jail. But in the meantime, she didn't have any place to spend Christmas, so... Oh, the poor lamb. But as he starts to fall more and more in love with her, he starts to become more hesitant about prosecuting her. Barbara Stanwyck displays both charm and vulnerability as crook Lee Leander. She's a woman who's resourceful and has had to resort to questionable actions to survive, but as the movie goes on, she grows to care more and more for Sargent, even to the point where she also starts to fall for him. And after a heart-to-heart -heart with Sargent's mother, she is willing to respect her wishes and not get involved with him for fear that he may throw away everything he's worked for. She's even willing to pay for her crimes just to protect him from ruining his career. Your Honor, I don't believe this young woman is well. I think a five-minute recess would be I sufficient for her to recover. I, I am undoubtedly responsible for having made a... Please, Jack. Your Honor, I, give us a few minutes to recess, Your Honor. has been made hysterical she by what's going on here. Of this is during which she is not responsible for what she says. I'm all right. I, I just want to plead guilty. If Your Honor would kindly grant a five-minute recess. My child, why do you want to plead guilty? Because I am guilty. And when you make a mistake, you've got to pay for it. God, what an uplifting, touching, well-crafted movie. Remember the Night really is a film I can't help but feel inspired every time I watch it. It's a story of love, compassion and understanding, showing that even with a troubled past full of pain and sadness, that you can still find hope and kindness in the most unlikeliest of places. The chemistry between McMurray and Stanwyck is strong, and I love the Sargent family and the warmth they bring on screen. They really do feel like a real family you want to be a part of, and seeing them interact with each other always brings a smile to my face. I love the scene where Leander plays an end to a perfect day on the piano with the sergeants. When you come to the end of a perfect day And you sit
and that look on her face just says it all no words are said you can already understand what she's going through and it's a great moment that hits me hard every time i watch it if i had to nitpick the scene with the landowner does slow the movie down a little but that said it's still a smart heartwarming uplifting movie that hasn't lost any of its charm since it's released 80 years ago this one's very very good you laugh you'll cry it'll change your life and whether you beautiful bastards are northern english or not thanks for watching and do remember to like subscribe and comment also if you'd like to support my channel the links are in the description below but right now that's me done this year and i'm off to the pub see you in the year 2024 happy new year you beautiful bastards